Islam is our greatest gift. We have to be thankful for this gift. We have to render to Allah His due. Allah has given us so much by making us a part of the Ummah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we must totally commit ourselves as followers of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We must become true Muslims. <laughs> How can we become Muslims in the true sense of the word? The first and most crucial obligation on us is to acquire knowledge and secondly to practice and preach this knowledge. It is impossible for us to be a Muslim and at the same time live in a state of ignorance. It is essential to understand that the greatest gift of Allah for which we are so overwhelmed with gratitude depends primarily on knowledge. Without knowledge, one can't truly receive Allah's gift of Islam. If our knowledge is little, then we will constantly run the risk of losing that magnificent gift, which we received unless we remain vigilant in our fight against ignorance. Every one of us, young or old, man or woman, should at least acquire sufficient knowledge to enable ourselves to understand the essence of the teachings of the Qur'an and the purpose for which it has been sent down. We should also be able to understand clearly the mission which our beloved Prophet ﷺ came into this world to fulfill. Knowledge is identified in Islam as worship. The acquiring of knowledge is worship. Reading the Quran and pondering upon it is worship. Traveling to gain knowledge is worship. The practice of knowledge is connected with ethics and morality, with promoting virtue and combating vice enjoining right and forbidding wrong. This is called in the Quran Amr bil ma'roof wa nahi anil munkar. The main purpose of acquiring knowledge is to bring us closer to Allah. It is not simply for the gratification of the mind or the senses. It is knowledge for the sake of knowledge. Knowledge accordingly must be linked with values and goals. He who acquires knowledge acquires a vast portion. And if anyone going on his way in search of knowledge, Allah will thereby make easy for him the way to paradise. According to Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah, Ibn Abbas, Allah be pleased with him, narrated that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, a single scholar of religion is more formidable against shaitan than a thousand worshippers. The creation of Islamic Learning Foundation, ILF, is a timely effort to undertake this noble mission of seeking sound Islamic knowledge. ILF is a need of the hour. Such institutions are very much needed for a comprehensive education in Islamic sciences in our society. This is a dream come true for me. I'm passionate about it. If Allah willing, this institute will be a great center for learning in the future. ILF, an ICNA New York educational venture, seeks to provide the highest quality Islamic educational programs using the most effective tools of our time as a means of serving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and deepening the awareness of Islam as an eternal and universal way of living for mankind and providing a new caliber of Muslim leaders. We are providing a much needed service to uh, young people and the community at large by giving them an opportunity to learn Islam in a classroom, in an organized classroom setting. We are also supplementing this classroom experience with an online experience, which is very unique. They have access to an archive of all classes which have taken place in the past. They also have the ability to share notes online with each other. Our classroom is fully internet equipped, uh, where we have wireless and wired connections both, and we have overhead projector for PowerPoint presentations and video presentations. ILF team has developed a fully integrated and unique Islamic curriculum in consultation with the prominent Islamic scholars in North America. The curriculum will cover Aqidah, Quranic studies, Hadith studies, Fiqh, and the contemporary issues facing Muslims today. There are organizations like Young Muslims that help you, um, you know, keep in touch with Islam and help you bring Islam into your life but then 
you also need knowledge. So you gain that from the Sam McLaren Foundation. An institution like this, it keeps the unity uh, among, uh, among Muslims um, who are not exposed to MSAs anymore. It's always nice to come to an institution such as this and always say salam alaikum and see faces that you're familiar with, see faces that share the same vision, the same um, drive as you. So it is a highly important to continue this type of institution, especially for people who are no longer involved in those type of communities. Alhamdulillah, I've had the opportunity to take a lot of courses with some prominent scholars elsewhere. And basically when I decide to take a course like this, I do it because I'm trying to gain a broader perspective. Well, I went to different states and I see many institutions out there, but New York I see lagging behind. And this is a great opportunity for Muslims in New York to take this class and get a better understanding of the deal. In addition to a thrilling Arabic program, each course is 26 credit hours that discuss the salient topics thoroughly. For a full description of the course that ILF offers, please visit ILF website at www.islamiclearningfoundation.com Learning Arabic is very important because translating is not uh, you know accurate for explaining Quran you know not everything could be felt and understood completely by translating so this is why you are making this program so that we can if we can have some students who can speak and understand Arabic uh, fluently, they can understand Quran and actually many fuqaha, many scholars in Islam said learning Arabic is uh, compulsory, it's fard. Our expectations have been exceeded by good measure. Inshallah, ILF team is committed to grow in the future both in the realm of quantity and most importantly quality. The classes so far are alhamdulillah very great. They're wonderful and I'm learning a lot especially uh, going over passages in the Quran um, with the meanings that I really when I read them didn't think of them that way so they're broadening my uh, my uh, my way of thinking ILF team invites your serious attention to this worthy cause and ask for your moral and material support let us partake in this noble cause for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala